What is it? On Sunday morning, one of our U-2s took these pictures. The Soviets are putting medium-range ballistic missiles into Cuba. Morning, gentlemen. Morning, Mr. President. Our cities in the southeast, as far north as Washington, D.C., are in range of these weapons. And in the event of a launch, we'll have only five minutes warning. In those five minutes, they could kill 80 million Americans. It was clear we cannot permit Soviet nuclear missiles in Cuba. We have to get those missiles out. The Soviet understands only one language, action. Respects only one word, force. I got a bad feeling about what's going on in there. Sir, I think we have to issue pre-invasion orders for our forces. There's no choice. It's going to cost lives anyway we go. We're talking about possible nuclear war. We've got a bunch of smart guys. We lock them in a room. They come up with some solutions. The full spectrum of airstrikes and minimum response the Joint Chiefs will accept. No, no, no. There is more than one option here. You're in a pretty bad fix, Mr. President. Well, maybe you haven't noticed you're in it with me. Those damn Kennedys are going to destroy this country if we don't do something about this. A lot of things are going wrong today. It's making everyone nervous. More things go wrong, people will become more nervous, and it will be very hard to avoid going to war. Three, two, one. Good evening, my fellow citizens. This is a setup. They want a war, Jack, and they're arranging things to get one. What happens to you? I'll be evacuated with the president. And while you're under a rock somewhere, what am I supposed to do with your five children? Sometimes there is only one right choice. And you thank God when it's so clear. Stop that firing! Lied right to my face. Teddy, we need you to talk to them. And nobody plays us off each other, and nobody ever, ever gets between us. I just wish for a second somebody else was president. You mean that? I said for a second. First airstrike start in 28 hours. The world's watching everything we're doing. I'm prepared to wait for my answer until hell freezes over. I am the commander-in-chief of the United States, and I say when we go to war.